Hello, this is Hashtag Arthur Aspie, and I'm sitting inside, um, getting away from the rain. We missed a cyclone which headed up to uh, Port Douglas and Cairns and has dumped uh, hundreds of mils of rain there and brought down trees and blown a few roofs off. Um, in Townsville, um, it's very hot and humid. We had a bit of wind yesterday, but what we're getting is um, periods of heavy rain and that's what I'm treating inside for. So now and again, the rain will beat down and I'll have to compete with that. Um, as you can see, I've got bandages on my nose again. This is because with these types of skin cancers on noses, you can't take a huge margin area as you can on other parts of the body. So they might have to operate three or four times to get all the cancer out and that's what's happened to me. I think the first cancer I had had about five stitches in, then the next one had three stitches, and this one's got eight stitches in it. And it is very sore, because having needles stuck into your nose is like having needles stuck into your feet. It really hurts, but anyway, I'm coping with it the best I can. I've seen other oncologists and I've been doing what a professional cancer patient does, turning up when I have to. Um, I had an original, uh, the original doctors from uh, the ear, nose and throat look at me to feel any lumps or bumps and said that they will be monitoring me for a number of years following. And that just brought up the fact that this is a very aggressive cancer. Do you get full remission? Do you get a cure? And the answer is no, and oncology doesn't have the answer at all. Um, as my radiologist said that, you know, it was a very aggressive cancer, um, and, you know, the radiology got him there to clean up what melanoma might have been left after the surgery. And now it's on to the immunology to also get rid of it. I mean, this is not happening because it's just a little localized cancer. This is a metastatic cancer and it has to be constantly fought. And it's really made me think about my mortality and whether or not, if it returns in the future, do I want all this treatment? I think I might be making some different decisions. So, um, by the way, this is my little painting table where I uh, work on my notebook and um, generate ideas for my paintings. And um, believe you me, at the moment, there's lots of ideas around cancer and the threat of um, pulsing through this brain. Other things that have been happening, well, I have... Uh, dealt with a, a rather long period where I felt pretty gloomy and I've just come to the terms with the fact that um, I'm an Aspie and Aspies we, we tend to like our own company then suddenly I'm forced into a world where I have to deal with lots of other people and it's not the most comfortable feeling but I'm handling it in uh, the most stoic manner I can. Um, I will be having another immunology treatment on the 27th. Um, I've got to have another blood test. I've already had another blood test to check that my um, blood sugar levels are okay. Then I'll have another one with a whole lot of uh, things with blood counts and goodness knows what. So, you no, know, it, it's a constant um, barrage of activities around being a professional patient and uh, that's uh, the problem with an aggressive cancer. Okay, I'll catch you up after I've had the uh, next uh, immunology treatment and uh, season's greetings to all those that care about such things. I prefer to think about the new year myself and uh, I certainly will make a video around that time as well. Okay, look after yourselves. All the best. Cheers.